morning everyone. Um, I was speaking to Natalia last week from Line Dot Arrow and she asked me if I'd do a design team project for her and I was really tickled pink because I really love all of her labels that she does. So I've got the Sweet Enchanting Bunnies here and the ephemera is beautiful. And you can see you've got the beautiful, beautiful orchids in here. You've got roses and it's really special. It really is. Uh, let's try and pick that up. If you hear the dogs bark, they've just let them out downstairs. So they'll probably be running around the garden and then come back in again. So it's, they're not mine, they're downstairs. Uh, on this page, we've got the belly band, tuck spot, you know, whatever you want to call them. And what is lovely is you've got tinky, tiny little tuck spots on them, you know, your pockets. And I've never seen pockets tiny like this, with belly band, bookmark type. Um, ephemera and I think it's absolutely gorgeous but she's you won't be able to see it on camera but she's actually got a little tiny little nick in there that then goes round into the top it's so so pretty it really is lovely and you've got the three little bunnies down here that can be used for tuck spots or for embellishments a couple of beautiful um, sorry I'm having problems with my memory today <laughs> a couple of labels here then I've got two beautiful envelopes and I really love this style of envelope because you can keep it open and use it for, for, for a writing space, for a journaling space. Um, and it's the first time in a long time that I've actually seen the tags on a, a kit. It's been quite a while since I've seen tags. I think with everybody trying to get hold of the whale tail punch, I think a lot of people are using that or making their own. So that was really lovely to see them this time. So this is the first page. This lovely little cute bunny. And I love this one. And if you don't know the difference between a hare and a bunny, a hare has longer, thinner ears. And they're a lot bigger. And they can kick like no tomorrow. <laughs> Isn't this beautiful? And this little wee poppet down here with his little Easter egg. And again, we've got the gorgeous orchids. I just love the way she's combined the orchids with the roses together. And the colour combination in this is, is amazing because she's used so many different colours. And yet, you, you they're subtle. They're not sort of right in your face. They're absolutely beautiful. And you've got the peaches coming through on this one. And a gorgeous hyacinth down the bottom here and a poppy. When I say poppy, I think of poppy from Trolls because the grandkids love Poppy from the Trolls and I bought one and two for Niall and he's uh, not two yet and it's the first time he saw him saw them was about two weeks ago and that was it he had to have it on on repeat <laughs> so he's now into Poppy and the Trolls now his beautiful roses and I love his face look at it absolutely beautiful his papers are absolutely stunning I really love these there's just something very special about them. You know, they're really, really beautiful. Now that's the kit that I've used, the Sweet Enchanting Bunnies. Then she's got a couple of ephemera kits. Now, for some reason, I've managed to box into my card a couple of pieces of paper. Some of these are on paper and some are on card. Um, this one actually gives you a page with both on, so you've got two to a page, or you can have them full size. So you get a, another two pages with these at full size and I absolutely love having labels like this that you can use on your tags or you can attach to things and I just really love these ones I've not seen a lot of these before one or two I've seen before but the majority of them I've not seen before and I think they are really really lovely that's uh, ephemera set one now this is ephemera set two that I've also used and you've got these lovely rose tags, which complemented the kit perfectly. Some gorgeous little pop-outs here. And then you've got these, um, you know, from, if you went to the library, you know, your library card. You know, you've got your borrower's name on and the title and everything. And they used to stamp it and the due date. And you had to have it back by the due date. <laughs> and how many of us used to forget the due date and crawl in a day or two later? And I think they are really lovely. Now, if you, there's a subtle difference between them. This one, you've got the, the dog roses running right the way through. Whereas this one, it's softer 
and you've got like vintage paper and that and there's a receipt and things like that over the top of it so I've used those as well and then we've got three really big tags and then you get them smaller again which is great for layering up which I love to do and the little cards have been reduced down for there as well so that's actually three kits there and I've actually combined all three kits doing this let's just move that out of the way right and one thing I did do which I'll show you when we go through I made a belly band pocket because the times I work with different kits particularly with Zern and Paulette and you'll have belly bands and you can use them as bookmarks or whatever I thought it would be lovely to have that so I can draw around it and I have I've done it in the in the journal that I'm going to show you in a minute and then you can tuck them in so I've, I've made a template so if you get this kit do make yourself a, a belly band pocket because I think these are absolutely great it's the first time I've ever seen this so I'm really tickled pink about it now the other thing I did is I made some backing papers now what I did is I used uh, this stencil here let me just go on to the white bit it's very very old and very very you know just about at the end of it it's from Dally Art um, I actually have it on Dally's page as well and it's quite an old one I think it's about five years old this one now and it's still she still has them they're absolutely beautiful and it's gorgeous rose in a roundel and I will link it below and then I decided to use the Nouveau paste which I love so much and I made some paste, uh, some lovely pages and let's have a look if I do it that way around this is the original okay but when you scan and print it you get a lovely pastely look but you still have all the 3d effect of it you know right the way through it and I think these are really really pretty and I just loved doing this this time and I did another one in in the pinks I've used two different pinks on here with the green to give me some gorgeous backing papers so I've used these through the journal as well just to complement the kit and it, I thought it'd be lovely just to do something like that I will learn how to scan these off the Epsom because obviously um, I usually do it off my Canon and I've been using the Epsom lately. In fact, I could probably plug the Canon back in again and do that as well. But I will learn how to do that and get that into one of the groups at some stage as a freebie. Now, the other one I've used is... Sorry, I'm just going to Blake P of paper again. I've used the little titsy tiny bunnies off of here. And this stencil is from Glitzcraft. Now, Glitzcraft have masses of stencils. They're really cheap. They're tiny and they're made from really, really good mylar. And I have a subscription box, if you've not really heard me talk about it before. Before Christmas, I did quite a few projects and I was using glitter paste. Well, I have a subscription box for the grandson, Levi, he's 14 now, and for myself. And she always sends him chocolate bars. Um, <laughs> and that's where these have come from. And she, there are loads and loads and loads. Um, the subscription box is great because you get about five or six stencils you get things like glitter card in there you know all sorts of different little bits of card and you'll get spatulas sometimes and you'll get stencil tape you know everything you could possibly use and you get tutorials as well you know printed off tutorials to give you ideas of what you can make um mdf that's another thing she'll pop in as well um so it's a lovely lovely kit so um I will actually link Glitzcraft as well. And then the last one I've used is the one that I've been using quite a lot lately. This one is the Bella Rose stencil. And that's from Linda Israel. And this one I've done spraying through with glittered up glitter angels and made some pages. So that's all the boring bit out of the way. <laughs> Sorry, but I just like to so you know where everything is. And then I can show you afterwards right so this is the journal if i come over here because then it'll i'll keep it on the table and this is a bit of sari silk that i thought i'd tie it up with now this image and some of the other images are from mrs cox you know our liz and she has two different sorts she has easter bunnies and she has vintage bunnies 
which are really lovely. So um, all this pretty ribbon comes from uh, Plum Boutique again. And this lovely piece under here came in that parcel from Zern. And it all just married together beautifully. The fabric is actually Crafter's Companion. It's stuff that I've had for quite a while. Um, so on the front, I've used one of the roundels just to decorate the pocket. And I made some extra envelopes, but you know, the square type, so I could put some of the card some of the cards and things like that in. You know, this is one of Mrs. Cogs. They're cute, aren't they? The bunny bunnies. Little funny bunnies. And that can go in the front. How adorable is he? Isn't he gorgeous? I just love that image. I really do. That's from Mrs. Cogs. And then we've got the papers. Now on the inside here, I've made some pockets just from vintage book paper. You know, just folded it into a nice triangle and sewn around it to make a nice little tuck spot. And this is one of the uh, ephemera tags. And I've cut the roses out from one of the pieces of card, the little bits that were left over, and popped it on there. And look at him. He is just too cute. Now he comes from somewhere. It's pixel something. I'll have to work it out and stick it down. If you want the link to them, I can email you it because you can get freebies if you email people. Um, but the, I've, the, I've just just found them, so I'm just looking at them. Here's one of those tiny, tiny little belly band things, and I've made a little tag to go in there. And of course, this is all paper that I've made. Now this image, and there are a couple of other images in the book, I hope you can see that properly. They actually come from a book that I have, and it's copyright free. I've made sure I checked it all up. And I've taken three of these, and these are Highland Animals in Summer. And I thought I'd pop them in. There's that cute little bun bun thing in. So I've made a little pocket here. You can see this, you can see the difference. Here's the stenciled paper that I made underneath there, and here is the sprayed. So there's a little tuck spot up in there. Like that. And then I've got the tags and I've put a little bit of collage on the side. And made a pocket. Now this is something that a lot of people are doing right now. Sorry, that charm's not laying very flat, it's popping up. Right, this, I'm just going to make sure you're in frame properly and I need to come down a bit, don't I? That's it. This here, a lot of people have started doing these. I cannot remember the original girl that did it, but I've got the links on YouTube, so I will actually link the videos. And what the idea is, if you take these out, you'll be able to see, is if you lift this up, you've got journaling space. And I think that is such a lovely idea. They are so quick and easy to do once you know how to do them and then of course you can just pop your tags in these are mad these are just bits of leftover that i had left over from making envelopes and i made some tags with them to pop in here that's going to go back in there there we are and i'll peter rabbit I've, I've actually used some washi tape to put the pages together so you could actually see the bunnies properly and that's the other side of that paper and then there's one of those bully band tuck things Paper. I love this, <laughs> the dog and the hare. I actually read the story <laughs> before I stuck it in. <laughs> Have you seen his face? He's thinking lunch. <laughs> in fact, I remember my poor dad many, many years ago. He used to have rabbits. And a few doors up, they had greyhounds. And I remember them asking my dad if they could have some rabbits. Because what they wanted to do was course the dogs. <laughs> he was so upset. He went, ah! absolutely nuts there was no way he was going to do that you know i mean I, I i couldn't cope with that either that's so cruel little tucky tuck spot in there and then here's one of the another one of the envelopes again it's got a um, mrs cox card in and then here i've you know used a sheet what i've done is i've made an envelope one side and then what's left over i've cut into a tag on the other side there's one of the lovely uh, library cards. And this is a Mrs. Cox image again. And there's a little bunny down there. 
that I've taken off the stencil. And there's another little Peter Rabbit, bless his heart. He does get into trouble, that Peter Rabbit. Now here are the envelopes. Now I, these envelopes I absolutely love because when you turn them over and you flip them out, there's your journaling space. And I love that. I also love the shape of the top, I really do. And I think that is such a lovely thing to have in a journal because nobody's going to realise that that's a journaling spot. I mean, obviously you can glue it together and make an envelope, but I love it as a journaling spot. I really do. The rude little rabbit. I don't know what he's been up to, but I hope he wasn't too naughty in the face. <laughs> so then there's a, a tag. Now, obviously I've used the small tag and the big tag together with some of the ephemera from the ta Natalie on there. And these little monkeys here came from one of the images from Mrs. Cox. I've just cut them out and popped them on. But then there's another library card in there. This is one of the tucks that I make. Uh, I've got a, another one of those tags in there. And I've put a bunny and a couple of doggies on the front. And these are all images from Mrs. Cox. I mean, that's a bit pretty, isn't it? You know, let us. <laughs> You can't beat Beatrix Potter, can you? Absolutely gorgeous. And there's another Peter. This is another one of the images that are copyright free. I'm, I'm going to try and get them into group at some stage. It's just I've got quite a few design team projects to do. Um, I managed to sort Zerns and Paul X out, which is actually up and live. Uh, as you know, I only thought I was using part of it. <laughs> and I did the trifold. And then, of course, I then got the pages to do the notebook so I spent another couple of days doing that and I've got Vanya to do isn't that beautiful that one these stamps just really set them off it really does if you've got any stamps do pop them on because they really look so lovely yeah so I've got Vanya and um where's the other one I'm doing it's gone out of my head but I've got a couple of them to do recent now now I've used one of Linda's shabby stitches on here. She's got a whole set. I showed them once last year sometime. Shabby stitches. These are on Linda Israel's site. And as you can see, you've got the three different types of stitches. And they're by Beeline Designs. And they are lovely, really lovely. And what is good about these is that because they're quite thick and they're well made with the red rubber, if you take them out... You can actually just dob like this on your ink pad and then onto whatever you're doing. You don't actually have to have a block because of the thickness. You see how thick they are? Um, obviously, you can use them with a block as well. But when you're doing something tiny like this, it's nice to be able to have that freedom of just being able to get it out there, isn't it? And this is another piece that was left over. And I've got Rupa. Yeah, another little naughty little bunny. It's full of bunnies. And here's Christopher Robin and Piglet and Rabbit. I love Christopher Robin. And I made another one of these, and again it's got one of the tag it's got a tag in here and a couple of little tootie patooties here and there's kids here. And this is another one of the flippy flippy outs, so you can use these as journaling spaces. And these images are so adorable, aren't they? Absolutely lovely. This is from that pixel place as well, that one. So that's on there. Another one of those, and another one of the ones that I've doubled up, and that is that big rabbit that I've showed you before, but he's little this time, <laughs> pink them off tiny, with a little library card, and this image is beautiful, isn't that gorgeous, really, really beautiful. Another envelope, and this is about the hair. And then I've got another little journey and journey guy in there. And again, I've got another stamp on to confirmate it. And that's the back of that one. This card I've used as a pocket. I love that image of the cat up there. This is, you're eating my dinner. And the journaling card. There you go. I just love how this paper came out. I just love the colours and it complements so beautifully. It really does. Another one of those pull out you know they're envelopes but can be a, um, a journey spot which I really really adore 
This is the third image, okay? That's the third image that in, the, in the three that I've used from that book. Isn't this stunning? I just love that. I really love that image. And then I've got another little tucky spot here. Gotta make sure we're down stuff. I've put another little tuck spot there with one of the postcards, right up underneath there. And then another little belly band in that one. And then we're at the end of the book. I just love these. <laughs> They're so cute. And I've just made a little tiny notebook for the end with um, some of it is paper that's been sprayed and stenciled and some of the mop-up pages. And you like mop-up. <laughs> just make a little bookie in there. I just love that rabbit, honestly. I can't think where I've seen that rabbit. I know there's a memory there somewhere. I'm sure my mum will remember. I'll have to ask my mum, where did that rabbit come from? <laughs> And that's the end of the book. Now, I've also under here, I hope you can see this, I've popped some beads on and a couple of tiny little charms. This one's eating a rabbit. Eating a rabbit. <laughs> Sorry, he's eating a carrot. <laughs> I hope he's not eating a rabbit. And coming back to the front, this one here is on a little bike. Isn't he cute? He's on his push bike and he's going for a ride. So that's my gorgeous journal. I have loved doing this. I really have. I just love bunnies anyway. As I say, the fabric is Crafter's Companion. It's about three years old, I think. It must be about three years old. I'd have to ask Liz because um, Liz and Rosella work from, you know, Crafter's Companion. I've done for quite some time and I do their group as well. Um, and... I just love it absolutely love it I love the ruffle the ruffle fits perfectly everything about it has just worked so well I'm just so tickled pink with it I really am so that's my journal and that's my lovely design pro project from the most loveliest lass Natalia she is such a lovely lass she really is do go over and check her Etsy store because the labels and that that she does are incredible. I really just love them. And obviously she's got other journaling kits and that as well. But it was the labels I first went over and got. Because they were just perfect for the project that I was doing. So have an amazing day guys. I'm afraid this weekend you're going to be a bit swamped. Because I've got quite a few design team projects coming up. Obviously Zern and Paulette. The challenge is up in group. So that's going at the moment, but I have to schedule that video for when they do the challenge. And that's from the 5th to the 12th that the challenge will be in Paulette's group. And I've got this one done. I've got some shout outs to do that I will be doing on Sunday. And I'm going to start on Banyas now and get her design team project out of the way. So I'm definitely being kept busy. We've had heaps and heaps of snow. It is due to be another snowstorm today, uh, but we did have a bit of rain overnight, which has cleared like some of the snow away. So, you know, we'll wait and see if it settles and whether the kids will get out and play in the garden. There were some lovely pictures put on Facebook by downstairs for the kids when they were running around in the garden. And I could hear them in here. They were squealing that much being out in the snow. And there's pictures of the wee one. He's only two and he's laying down making snow angels. And I thought, oh gosh, how wonderful. That's the magic of snow, isn't it? It's just amazing for kids. We never got much when I was living in Surrey. You really didn't, you know. And if it did snow, it was so incredible. You were just that excited. So anyway, everybody, have an amazing day. Thank you to all the new subscribers. Um, I'm on about 9.50 at the moment. Once I hit a thousand, I will be doing a journal giveaway. Okay, I've not decided which one it's going to be yet. I've got an idea. It might be this one. It might be the one that I did for Cara Brandon. Um, so I'm two and eight. I'm procrastinating, I think the word is. Anyway, I'll let you all go, guys. And I'll see you again tomorrow. <laughs> Love and blessings. Bye.